if I were to ask you how you feel about networking, are these the emojis that would come to mind? Since you're watching this video, I'm going to guess that you are not entirely comfortable with networking. I'm going to hopefully give you some tips to make you feel more confident. This is a scene that strikes fear and panic into my heart. I walk into a room, I look around that room, and I don't see anyone that I know. Not only that, but it looks like everyone else knows each other. And I have to somehow find a way to insert myself into those conversations. I'm going to guess that you have felt that panic too. The first thing to know is that you are not alone. And I don't mean this in sort of a granola-y, granola feel good, everyone has the same anxiety kind of way. I mean it in a very practical, probably they don't all actually know each other. Uh, and that if you start going around the room and introducing yourselves, you will find that many of them just met uh, and had that same experience. They had to walk into the room uh, and insert themselves into a conversation. One thing that you can rely on in the equity compensation space is that people will be polite. I don't know about other fields and industries, but in equity compensation, we're all pretty nice. Uh, and if you walk up to a group and introduce yourselves, yourself or you sit down at a table and introduce yourself, you can genu generally count on the people that you are introducing yourself to, to be polite, that they will introduce themselves back uh, and that they will welcome you into the conversation. So let's talk about what your game plan is. First step is going to be to approach someone. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Once you've approached someone, then you'll need to introduce yourself. Hopefully that's the easy part here. Uh, and then the third step uh, is to have some additional questions at the ready so that you can keep the conversation going. These questions, they don't have to be particularly deep. They can be very small talky like, uh, where are you from? How are you enjoying the event so far? How long have you worked in equity compensation? Uh, you could also ask them about their equity plans, like what kind of equity awards do they grant? Just anything to sort of keep the conversation flowing. Uh, a lot of times these questions will lead to more deeper connections. So let's talk about that first step. How do you approach someone? Uh, one tip that I've been given that I find very helpful is to look for groups of three. So if we think back to that picture that I showed you earlier of the scene with all the people and we sort of focus in uh, in that group of three on the left. A lot of times in a group of three, two people are having a conversation and one person is standing around kind of wishing someone would talk to them. And I look at that photo and I think that's exactly what's going on there. Those two guys are having a conversation and I can see that woman. She's got a great game face on and looks like she's really interested in the conversation but I've had that same game face on and I'm pretty sure what's going on in the back of her mind is I'm kind of bored because these guys are talking to each other and I wish somebody would come up and talk to me. Uh, and guess what? You could be that person. My last tip here is how to extricate yourself from a conversation because sometimes that can feel just as hard as inserting yourself into a conversation. Uh, so maybe you approach a group of people and they don't welcome you into the conversation. You realize you made a mistake. First of all, that's really rare for that to happen in equity compensation, but it does happen sometimes. So uh, how do you get yourself out of that situation? Uh, or maybe maybe they did welcome you and you've been talking for a while, but now you're ready to go talk to somebody else. How do you get out of the conversation? Well, in either of those situations, I have a magic phrase for you, uh, which is, it was really nice to meet you. That phrase is just a social cue for everyone that you've been enjoying the conversation, but now you're ready to go talk to somebody else. Uh, and everybody understands that. Everybody's there to network. Uh, Sometimes, you know, if you want to, you can follow it up with, hey, it was really nice to meet you, but I don't want to intrude on your conversation anymore. Or it was really nice to meet you. I don't want to monopolize all of your time. Um, but you don't always even need to do that. Sometimes just it was really nice to meet you and everybody shakes hands and you can move on. Uh, it also works if you're talking with someone that you know. Uh, you walk into that room and you do see someone that you know and you get in a conversation and then after a while, you're ready to talk to somebody else. In that case, you just replace the word meet with the word see. It was really nice to see you. You shake hands and you move on. If you found these tips helpful, uh, they are all from the NASPP webinar, Networking Skills for Introverts, which is part of our Women Leading in Equity program, which is sponsored by Morgan Stanley. 
Uh, if you found the tips helpful, I encourage you to watch the whole webinar. We had a great panel of very savvy networkers who had some very constructive advice on how to work a room. Uh, it's definitely worth your time to check out the full webinar. We'll include a link in the show notes. Uh, I also hope you enjoyed my video here today. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that way you're notified when we post new videos and it really helps us out too. Win-win. Thanks for watching.